What's up guys? Welcome back to Tech Talk with Adrian. It's Adrian, your boy. What's up? What's going on? Today we have something special for the Honda Pilot. It's a blackout grill. All this chrome that we have here in the Pilot is going to be gone. So the first step I wanted to do was take out the front grill and the garnish to make sure that uh, it looks good. It just looks old to me. Chrome, I don't know if you guys like chrome, but for me, it's a no-go. So um, today we're gonna take out the front bumper, uh, replace the grill, like I said, with the front blackout grill, and then just make this thing look a little sexier, a little more appealing to the eye, because the uh, chrome, yeah. The grill and the garnish comes in two pieces. You can actually buy it separately, so I don't know why you would just want the grill as one piece and keep the top part chrome, but you actually need these two pieces. This is actually from the Honda dealer. It's actually from bkhondaparts.com. So we'll uh, put the link in the description and the part number for reference. So far, this is the cheapest website I could find it for OEM parts. Good deal, they actually offer 50% off shipping. So I'm not sponsored by BK Honda, but hey, if you wanna sponsor me, go right ahead. First of all, we're gonna just uh, unwrap this. I already took it out of the box because I was too excited last night. So it um, comes in a nice uh, wrapper. And then we're gonna unwrap and unreveal this. Oh, look at that. That gloss black. See, this is what I'm talking about. I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking, oh, you could have just painted the grill, the garnish black or plastic dipped it. But honestly, I like having factory parts in my car without painting them and having that official part number in the back. So like I said, this is an option. Um, to buy for the Honda Pilots out there. Unless you already have the Black Edition or the Special Edition that came out this year in 2021, I believe. This is a great upgrade to make your car look more stealthy. I noticed this little, I don't know if this is real carbon fiber or if it's just like a, a stick-on piece here. I didn't even notice this on the pictures, so that's pretty cool. That's like a bonus right there. This is a different grill from the Black Edition. On the Black Edition, you'll actually have the logo here that says Black Edition, but since my car isn't truly a Black Edition piece, I didn't want to label it as a Black Edition. I want it to be my own, so. So this is the first part. This is the garnish that goes on top of the grill. This looks cleaner, it looks more sleek, uh, more black. Yeah, it just looks more appealing. Uh, second one we're gonna open right now. It's actually the main grill. Like I said, I already opened it last night from the box, but it came really protected, so you don't have to worry about it cracking or anything. And yeah, here it is. It doesn't come with the Honda sign because you're just gonna reuse it and place it on here. Hopefully it's not too hard and let's go at it. Finally got the front grill out. This is the old one. This one was a uh, bitch to get out, actually. Honda, I love you, but you guys make some really strong ass clips. So, so this front chrome trim piece was in like that. I got a little impatient, and I guess you were supposed to take this off first. There's two self-tapping self screws here, one, two, and then four clips. Once you take out the two self-tapping screws, the clips just come off, and then this will come off. My impatient butt decided to take off this sensor for all the Honda Pilots and I think Honda Accords they have a sensor in the front and it's held on with a plastic clip in the back. I just basically took a flathead screwdriver and then I pried it out. Bad news, it clipped. So now when I'm trying to transfer it to the new grill, it won't clip on because the back piece is broken. So I need to go to Honda and source a new clip or else it won't sit on there properly and then you won't have the proper sensor you're supposed to have. All right guys, as you can see, the grill is finally installed. It was actually installed a couple days ago. What do you guys think? I like it, it looks more sleek. It doesn't look as old school anymore. It gives it that more racer look, even though we're not gonna be racing. It did take a couple hours to install. It's not easy, I knew it wasn't gonna be easy. It had a lot of clips. A lot of you guys know Honda does make the strongest clips in the world. It's just a little joke, but they do actually. It wasn't easy. There's a lot of sensors here that you guys need to be mindful of. The bumper sensors, the ambient temperature sensor, which I did break. I did come up with a solution for that by uh, doing a 3M sticky tape on the back and just holding it down with some zip ties and it worked. If you guys had questions about that, leave a comment down below and I'll get to you on what exactly I'm talking about. Some flaws that I do not like and I want to talk about here is when I did put the bumper back, there is a little gap right here. It's not perfect. 
as you can see. Many of you guys know when you do put a bumper back, it's not always gonna be 100% like fine fitment. You're gonna have some kind of gap. I'm gonna try and go back later on. I was just a little lazy going back, but there's a gap right here. It's kind of sticking out as you can see. The other side, it's not as bad, it's more flush, more perfect than the other side. I think I just need to do a little more tweaking, a little more adjustment and we should be on point. There is a little issue right now. My parking sensor is going whack right now. It's going a little off for some reason. And I think I know the reason. I forgot to disconnect the battery while removing the bumper. Like I said before, always remove your battery before you do anything electrical. Do not make the same mistake I did because now my parking sensors do not work. There is a button to turn it off, but if I turn it on, it's just gonna keep ringing. Overall, I'm super satisfied the way it looks, the way it turned out, looks great. All the time I wanna back it up into a parking stall just because it looks more sleek. I eventually wanna get rid of skid plate right here that is silver and these accent trims. I wanna black those out as well. I haven't made up my mind yet if I wanna just spray paint it or powder coat it or just end up getting something OEM from the dealer, but stay tuned to find out what I do. Overall, looks great looks mean looks more sleek and yeah i'm really happy with it if you guys are wondering where i did get this piece i will link the description down below you guys know already how much dealers do cost they are like an arm and a leg bk honda they offered 50 percent off shipping plus they were like the cheapest ones that i could find so links are in the description below turn off the ac so the car is on on position right now but the parking sensor is off. The parking sensor is right here. If you want to turn it on, you just press it once. And there you go. It says parking sensor system problem. The reason for that is because the parking sensor that got disconnected with the bumper, I'm thinking maybe it got short, but now it's giving me a false saying that there's an issue. I tried resetting it. There's a couple YouTube videos out there that showed click it 10 times, turn off the engine, hold it while turning it on didn't work. Last step is to take it to the dealer, but I don't know if I want to take it there yet. For now, it's not a big issue. I just keep it off. Don't really need the parking sensors right now. So stay tuned. Maybe we'll find a solution to this. Not the end of the world. It looks great. looks awesome. So I'm happy. All right, guys, that is a wrap of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please comment, like, and subscribe. We're going to have more content soon. So please stay tuned. Remember to always disconnect your battery so you don't make the same mistake I did. Life is too short to say one day. Until next time, peace.